Whenever you need to do something in PowerShell that's going to involve modifying more than one thing, you kind of have to be careful to really consider the PowerShell approach to the problem. For example, here I've created a little PowerShell script that's very reminiscent of something you might have seen in VBScript or Perl or another scripting language. I start by using the get service command to retrieve all of the services running on the system. I then store those in a variable called dollar sign services. I then use a scripting construct called for each to run through those services. Each time through this loop it'll take one service out of this variable and put that service into this variable that I've set up. I'm then checking to see if that service's name is like W3P or if it starts with W3P. And if it does, then I'm going to execute that service's stop method. This is a very common approach if you have sort of a, a VBScript mindset, but it's really working too hard in Windows PowerShell. In PowerShell, really, all we'd need to do is say get service. And if we just wanted the ones that started with W3P, then we'd specify that as part of the name parameter so that only those services that we want are actually being retrieved from the system. And then we just pipe those to stop service. There's no reason to write a loop that goes through all of the services one at a time. Instead, whenever possible, PowerShell would like for you to use these batch commandlets. And I call them that because it's a single command that's capable of dealing with a whole batch of things or objects. In this case, it's capable of dealing with a whole batch of services. This is the preferred way to use PowerShell, simply because it requires less work. It's, it's not that the other way is faster or, or this way is faster. It's, this is just easier to type. It's not really a, a, a programming style approach to the problem. It's a command line style approach to the problem. Now this isn't always possible, and throughout chapter 13 you're going to learn what to do in the event that you can't quite use this technique, because sometimes Microsoft hasn't been able to provide us with the batch commandlets we need to accomplish every single task. But when you can use a batch commandlet like this, then you definitely should, because it's going to get you your result faster.